engagement dropped. How to revive engagement on Instagram in 2019. Yo, what's going on guys? Thor here back with a new video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you can revive your Instagram engagement on Instagram in 2019 and we'll also be talking about why engagement overall has dropped on Instagram in 2019. You guys have been spamming me with comments regarding this. My Facebook group has been spammed regarding this and it's important that we address it because a lot of you guys are frustrated, you're stressing out, you don't know what to do, you don't know what's happening, if you're doing something wrong, if you're not. So that's what this video is going to be all about. Why engagement is dropping and how you can fix it. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you specific things that you can use or do to increase your engagement. But I'm not sharing any of the strategies that I've laid out in my free report. This is free, 100% free, and it's 15 strategies that you can implement right away to increase your engagement on Instagram. If you don't download this now while it's still free, you're pretty stupid. It's free, link down below, will help you increase your engagement. Also guys, if you want to join the Facebook group, it's free. I post more Instagram value inside the Facebook group, link down below as well. So guys, let's face it, your reach is going down, your engagement is going down, and it might also continue to do so. Let's first of all talk about why this is happening, and then we'll get into how you can do anything about this. Now I want to give a quick shout out to my homie John Galante, who made a very nice and detailed Facebook post in my Facebook group about this, breaking it down. The link to the post will be down below, but I'll go over some of the points that he mentioned in this video, because um, he very well break down why Instagram is doing the engagement stuff and what's really happening. Now, basically knowing what happened to Facebook in 2013, we can kind of sort of predict what's going to be happening to Facebook, uh, I mean to Instagram now after the founders left the platform and it's left to Mark Zuckerberg in his own hands and he can do whatever he wants. Hint, 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 hint. Some of you guys might remember back in the day in 2013 when Facebook zero hits, basically when all like the fan pages completely vanished. They used to have crazy good reach and engagement and that all just disappeared out of nothing. And everybody went mad, everybody thought Mark Zuckerberg was crazy, everyone was stressing out and really thinking that Mark just completely ruined the platform. And then one year later, we see just insane amounts of advertisements popping up on the platform over and over and here and there. Literally, the advertisements doubled after that year. So Mark Zuckerberg knows exactly what he's doing and I, feel like that's kind of what he's trying to do here on Instagram as well, kind of make something bad and then just like one year later everybody starts advertising or something like that because obviously he's after that money, he's after that dough. Now let's take Instagram into account. The amount of advertisers and business accounts, they grow in a pretty steady rate. They double literally every quarter. Every quarter the amount of Instagram business accounts and advertisers double pretty crazy. Historically, Facebook knows that the average business accounts tends to decline over the years and to reduce the amount of advertisers to decline as well, they've got one of two options. Increase the ad cost or decrease the organic reach. It's pretty obvious which one they picked, but now you guys have a better understanding as to why they're doing it. Yeah, it's all about that bread. I've said it before and I'll say it again, there are crazy amounts of money being made on the Instagram platform. And obviously right now, Mark Zuckerberg and his team and his like gang, his gangster gang, they're not making a big part of this money. They're not making a big piece of the pie. And so the entire goal here is for Mark and his team and all the guys behind Instagram, they want a bigger piece of the pie. They want like the whole slice almost, like they want the pie for themselves. That's not gonna happen, but they want more of it. And that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Now, how can you counteract this? How can you increase your reach, get your engagement back up, and still have solid quality engagement despite what's literally happening on the platform? Now, here is a couple of things that you can do. Best advice I can give you guys is to play the game. Start actually investing into advertising because what's, what's literally happening on Facebook is that Facebook favors people who do specific things when it comes to ads. People do favor accounts that run advertising. So I'm assuming it would make sense for Instagram to favor your account if you're running advertising as well. And it doesn't have to be much. You can spend like a dollar a day, but that will still put you in the good light. Um, they will still look at you as somebody that they favor because he's actually spending money consistently with us. So 
play the game start kind of like doing what they want you to do next thing you want to do is you want to stop all the spammy behavior and this is really something that is fucking you up with this is really something that instagram looks at and determines oh shit this guy is doing something bad or drop his reach in like half stop the spammy behavior guys stop just stop it stop tagging like the same 20 accounts on every single picture you post stop spamming random dumb comments um stop doing all that shit be be a human being interact with people be Social. It's called social media for, for a reason. It's not called bot media. You're not just, everybody's not going around botting shit. Everyone is being going around being social and people and the accounts that are being social, those are the ones that are being favored. I'm not saying you to not use automation, that kind of stuff. I'm just saying you to act normal on the, on the profile and don't, for example, put automation and spam out 20 random weird ass comments to somebody on their profile. That's spammy behavior, don't do that. Third thing, post more often. This is obvious guys, but the more you post generally, the more success you see. Go to Gary Vee's page, for example, on Instagram. He's posting literally up to 10 days, uh, 10 posts a day. Same with Millionaire Mentor. They're posting up to 10 posts a day, and okay, maybe their overall engagement on each individual post is lower, their overall reach and their overall engagement, their overall interaction with your audience is like twice as high, three times as high. So the more you post, generally, the better. <laughs> On one of my previous videos, I told you guys that I would give away free access to my course to one person. And the winner is... Crazy drum roll. This guy. Yeah. Congratulations, man. So you will get free access to my course, Grand Mastery. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be down below as well. But you will get free access. So all you have to do is send me an email to contact at lifebythor.com. Send me an email there with a screenshot of your YouTube channel so that you prove that this is actually your channel with insights. So I know it's your channel. Also send me a screenshot of the comments so that I know what we're talking about. And yeah, I'll give you free access. Let's move on with the video. Now, obviously, that is very basic tips, so we'll dive into some more specific things that you can do on your profile to increase that enge engagement and increase that reach. Post 4x5 content pieces. Now, the reason you want to do this is because when you post something that's 4x5, it takes up more space on the screen, uh, the picture is longer, and for that reason, people spend more time scrolling past it and they see more of the image, they're more likely to stop looking at the image because it takes up more on the screen, and that way, you're more likely to get a like or a comment from them. Use videos in carousel form. Now, this is something very few people do, but I saw it the other day on Jeff Side's page. He's a fitness guy on Instagram. If you don't know who he is, it's who he is, check him up at Jeff's side. Um, now he posted a video basically, or multiple videos, it was actually six videos in carousel form, basically showing his entire shoulder workout. And when he did this, I just thought to myself, wow, this is a really, really good strategy for increasing your engagement and increasing overall engagement time spent on your profile. Because when you post one video, people can watch that video for 60 seconds. But if you post multiple videos, you've got more different types of content that it can get engagement and overall they're going to spend more time watching your content because you got more videos basically. So this is going to help you increase your engagement. Why? Well, because if people spend more time watching videos on your on your page, they spend more time watching your content, they're more likely now to be engaged and uh, be exposed to your content on a future basis because Instagram now thinks that they're more likely to engage back with your content because of these carousel videos. And this very trending, it's very new, it's not a lot of people doing this, so I highly recommend you to dive into it and experiment with it because it will increase the overall time people spend engaging with your content. Next thing, use subtitles in your videos. A lot of people watch videos without uh, without the sound on. That's It's actually a lot of people who watch videos on Instagram, they report that they don't use the sound on because maybe they're on the train, maybe they're in class, whatever it is. So if you can use subtitles on your video, that's gonna help increase that engagement. It's actually gonna allow people to watch the video without sound and still get the entire meaning, still understand what's in the video. So that's just a tip for you guys who um, are posting videos on a frequent basis, use subtitles on the videos. It's, it's gonna take some extra time for you to edit, but if you're really serious about having your engagement back up, having you reach higher and more engagement overall on your page, this is something you want to invest time in. Post more stories and post more lives. Now, stories specifically, the more stories you post, 
again, the higher engagement and interaction you're gonna have overall on your Instagram page and the more people you're likely to reach because if people watch your story um, and, and engage with your story, they're more likely also to see your newsfeed content and more likely than to, if they see it, obviously engage with it. But when it comes to live stories as well, when you go live, your, your story is being featured by Instagram. It's the same with Facebook. If I go live, all of my like close friends, the people that are engaging with me the most, they will get a notification saying Thor just went live, go check him out. And for that reason, I get like 30, 40, 50 people on my live right off the bat because Instagram or Facebook is featuring it. And it works the same with Instagram. They're featuring your lives. They want you to show, uh, they want to show your content to people, specifically when it's live. So. The reason you want to go live and the reason lives are going to help you increase your engagement is that you're going to be able to reach people that maybe hasn't seen your content in a while because now it's something new and Instagram thinks to themselves, maybe this guy, okay, he hasn't been engaging with, with, with Thomas for like a month, but maybe he's going to enjoy Tom, uh, Tom, uh, Thomas's live. So we'll show him his live. And so what's going to happen is that your story is going to be pushed more to the left on the top of the Instagram newsfeed. Um, basically where the stories are, you can see the stories going across the screen with those little circles. You're going to, you're going to be featured more of the way to the left. So people are more likely to see it. And it's also going to have this red circle around it saying it's live. Uh, and then people will be notified. So you're going to get a lot more people watching the live, watching the story. Um, in a shorter amount of time and the more people you get to watch it the more likely now are these people to see your next content piece on the newsfeed because that's how the Instagram algorithm works together um, and so that's a really really good tip for you guys if you want to really increase your engagement and your exposure on your next couple of posts just go live before you make that post if you have a post you really want to blow out if it's a product promotion go live before it because it's gonna increase the reach and engagement on that post. Post more GIFs. Now the reason you want to post more GIFs is because GIFs are indeed very very engaging. They're very short, very engaging um, videos and they're also very new. And when something is very new people usually spend more time consuming that type of content because it's not something they see all over the place. So if you're looking for like something new to test out um, to see if you can have higher engagement with your audience, try posting GIF videos uh, on your Instagram account, on your story for example, on your newsfeed as well. For example, if you're promoting a product, um, maybe just like scroll through the paper um, and then you make a GIF out of it and then it looks much much more engaging than just a picture of a book for example. Scrolling through them is much more engaging than just a picture of a book. So that's a good way for you to basically make something that is maybe boring much more engaging. Maybe you're like smashing an egg on top of something, for example. But that's just much more engaging and you can have the same promotion. Uh, for example, if you are promoting a product or showcasing something, whatever it is, um, you can make that look a lot more engaging at the same time promoting it by making it into a GIF. So use GIFs, guys. Um, it works very very well next thing use emojis way more frequently in your captions emojis stand for a lot of the conversion when converting people into actually engaging and commenting on the picture and if you can use the emojis effectively in your pictures you're gonna have much much higher success here's a, a, a caption with bad use of emojis and here's the caption with good use of emojis so you can see how I'm using the emojis in this specific post really really well thought out it looks really cool it looks nice it looks really engaging it's not like they look spammy it looks actually sexy it's it's appealing to look at and that's how you want to be using emojis in your captions use storytelling in your content now this is something very few people do using storytelling in their content but if you look at the picture on the screen right here if you take a look at that picture uh, on the screen it's a picture from red bull and how they use pictures to tell a story in order to basically get people interested in the video so that on the last story they will have a higher amount of people basically swipe up to watch the video because they did such a good job with the stories telling a story about what went down this day in the field um, shooting that video so they basically have recorded a video and they want people to watch that video and then what they do is use smart stories with storytelling it's just pictures but it's still storytelling um, to get people engaged and interactive and, and want to see what really went down that day and so when they do promote that final swipe up thing they will have a much much higher conversion of people swiping up so that's just a smart way of using storytelling go to Red Bull's Instagram account they're really really good at this and I want you to take inspiration from them because it's they're, they're do, really doing a, a good job showing basically what's going on and, and sharing a story with just pictures. 
Uh, and so that I guess is all the tips I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in this video now again guys if you want to learn more about increasing your engagement on Instagram I got this it's free click the link down below it's 100% free the engagement blueprint teaches you 15 more strategies to increase your engagement basically your likes and comments and also reach on Instagram with specific strategies that you can implement right away some of these strategies are really freaking good so click that link down below download it and it's all free like you get free extra tips on increasing your engagement and I guess that's why you're watching this video you want to increase that engagement so that's why you should get it link down below anyways guys if you enjoyed this video smash that like button if you're new to my channel subscribe down below as well I post Instagram videos educating you guys keeping you guys up to date on what's popping on Instagram so you guys can stay in the loop and always grow your followers and yeah as a matter of fact, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, we're going to be giving away one guy free access to my course again, um, because last time it was fun. I loved seeing you guys' quotes down below in the comment section. So if you're still watching, good for you, because you now might be able to win free access to my course as well. All you have to do, like the video, share the video, um, subscribe, obviously, click that notification bell. I'm going to check all these things, so if you don't do that, you're going to miss out. Um, like, share, comment, uh, and click the notification bell and subscribe. Now, the comment is the key. What you're going to comment is you're going to comment a quote down below, your favorite quote, and the quote with the most likes, um, and also the quote that I like the best. So, it, it's got to have good likes, but also I have to like the quote. That quote is going to be the winner. I'm going to be announcing that in about a week or so, five days maybe, to give everyone a chance to enter. So if you want to win free access to my course Gram Mastery, which is a really good course in my opinion, comment down below, do all those things that I said, and I will catch all of you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.